COVID shone a line at light, really bright light on ed tech and the opportunity. And there was a huge demand. Everybody in the world started talking about it, ed tech, of course. Uh, and during that time, and even just post COVID, when we were coming out of lockdown and schools were starting to hint at reopening, all of us who had been in ed tech for a long time were looking at each other and saying, there's not a single person in the world right now that doesn't now know about ed tech. So every family, every kid, every teacher, every politician, every decision maker now is thinking about ed tech. So this giant influx of revenue and capital, we all saw this in, in the venture space, of course, there was a massive investment um, in, in ed tech at the time. Uh, so that, of course, has made ed tech incredibly uh, interesting to people outside of education, right? So what's the difference here? I'm just going to say it, Zara, like the difference is the money has followed ed tech now. As an educator at my core, I think it's Amazing that everyone in the world is paying attention to ed tech now, finally. It's fantastic that we're drawing attention and it's bringing in some amazing people, like some incredible minds, right? So this is all good. This is good news for, for ed tech. What's the problem then? I think, say a tech founder or someone who's just coming out of, say, consultancy. Historically, I, I think without having that kind of probably that core kernel of like purpose and value that you're trying to contribute, uh, to the world of education, if, if that's missing from that, uh, that from that agenda, from that founder team, I think you can still do well in this space because it's a growing and investable space. But I think if you're going to do really well and really grow a fantastic company, then I think you need to learn from and or have people that are central to your leadership team that are coming out of education and are great innovators within the space themselves. One thing that educators and researchers within education always flinch at is the reference to education as a marketplace, because while you can think about it as a marketplace, yes, there is commodity that's commodified in many ways and always has been. At its core, educators and researchers think about education, of course, as individuals. And I know that might sound a bit trite. I'm not trying to simplify it, but it's true. We're always talking fundamentally here about young people who are highly influenced by the work that we do, whether you're a teacher or a founder or working in ed tech in any capacity. And that comes with some serious responsibilities. And so referring to the, place, the, the space as a marketplace or thinking about it first as a marketplace is something that could be reflected upon, I think, by some people coming into ed tech at this point.